Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Jocelyn Lovely Tarot. So good to see you guys here today. Today's reading is going to be for my Aquarius. If you guys resonate with the video, like, share, and subscribe. Alright guys, if you guys want a personal reading, hit me up at jocelynlovely84 at gmail. Right, we're starting off here with judgment. I see you guys uh, talking to the divine or, or on your knees praying or asking for the divine for help here. You're asking for help or for a sign, and I feel like you're looking for a miracle to come in. Um, what the thing is, is because you're in conflict. Some of you guys understand, or it's like you're... This person seems kind of, like, not slow, but he's unaware. This person's unaware of what's there or what's coming to them or what needs to be faced within themselves. Since you're going through some type of conflict here. There's a conflict with shadowy side. I see shadow and then I see light with the star and the moon. Uh, with your everyday persona and then this dark shadowy side that just loves destruction and chaos. Everybody has that. It's like, I don't wanna, I don't know, we, you can call it whatever, you can call it shadow, you can call it ego, but it's the side of you that needs, needs or it goes about things their own way because it, whether that's manipulating, sabotage, self, self sabotage, whether that's lying, deception, whatever it is. Um, whatever game somebody plays, deception, whatever it is that you do to go about getting whatever you want or whatever you need. It's like these ways of being, right? Uh, again, shadow, ego, side, whatever you want to call it. This part of you, it's, 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 it's demanding you. It's demanding from you. It's demanding you go about it its way so that you can get whatever you've been getting um, your whole life. And then now it's like, for whatever reason, it's become so apparent that going about it, going about, about things the way you have been with your ego, <sighs> although it gets you the results, it almost seems like it's, it's like never enough. It's almost as if like, it's like water, right? You, you need water, right? And so no matter how many times you go about getting water, the way you're doing it, it's kind of destructive because it's almost as if it's never enough. You always, you're always thirsty. You're always thirsty for more. And it's like, maybe the way you go about it, your ego craves you doing this because when you when you go after these things, whatever it is, even if it's like a regular thing, when you go after, let's say, let's say you, you want money, right? And so the way you go about getting money, it could be like a high. You get a high out of like the way you sell. Maybe you're in sales and you're looking at different pitches to try every day. And, and, and if you don't get a sale, then that really hurts your ego, right? So you go around trying to sell, 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 because ultimately you're selling yourself, right? You're selling yourself to get a, a pitch or, or you're selling a pitch to get money, right? And it's like, this defines you. Let's just say that's what it is, right? That's an example. It defines who you are. And it's like you, you've done it that way your whole life. You think that without it, the way that you go about maintaining or getting money or whatever it is that you go after, um, that if you change it, you're going to fuck up the system. It's like your life doesn't know. It's like you, you don't know any other way to go about it in a healthy manner. And I feel like the the character defects, right, the, 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 the ego, the ego gets a kick out of going things about it its way but when what now the divine's like the more time you spend with the divine trying to heal these areas um it's like it's telling you you don't need to do that anymore so the ego doesn't know what to do it wants to surrender it wants to believe that the divine can show it other ways means necessary to get what it wants or desires there's other ways to do it in a healthier manner where you don't have to go and try so hard where you don't have to go and validate yourself, right? Do you see what I'm saying? It's like there's other ways to do it and, and where you don't have to sell yourself. And now it's like you're wanting to surrender or some part of you wants to surrender because it's like you, you're you tired of being validated in that way. But at the same time, you don't know how to surrender. You don't know how to let that go. You don't know how to let the divine show you other ways. And so you're stuck in this conflict, like I said. Six of Pentacles, right? It's balancing. It's finding ways where you don't have to go about it by any means necessary, where you don't have to go full force, full-fledged, trying to achieve things just by your own 
will beckon will right and so finding a balance means you're gonna have to pull the reins back i hope i'm making sense here because it took me forever to get to this point so now you're pulling the reins back and and you're realizing that you it's out of your control who are you when you're not going out there trying to do a sales pitch? Do you see what I'm saying? Who are you when you're out there not trying to show this version of yourself uh, to either make money or get attention or validate yourself? Whatever, whatever it is, whatever category you're in, what does it look like when you don't do that? It's funny that I showed you the Six of Pentacles, right? Because the card under is uh, Libra, balance, right? It's this balance that needs to take place it's like there's other gifts that you possess within yourself that if you let them shine for once they're going to surprise you there's other versions of you that want to be explored but i feel like they never get the chance to because you're you're the the, the resort that you go to is to the ego the ego rules you right and that's fine there's nothing wrong with that it's just there's other versions of you that want to play too right Remember earlier I showed you conflict with the five of wands? You got black moon Lilith under that, right? Again, it's this, the ego, the, the, the raw sexual desire. For some of you guys, it's like this sexual charisma that you guys have that you go to every time to get what you want because that's what you've been taught to. You've been taught to use any resource at your disposal, like anything that you have at your disposal to win. And I feel like it's clouded you. It's clouded your judgment it's clouded you for a very long time again who are you when you're not that oh that hurts that hurts that hurt me saying that i'm sorry i hurt me to say that out loud you got the eight of pentacles here right it's it's it's, it's like there's again you got eight but you, you don't have ten right it's like you're you're missing two you're missing two that you don't have all the pieces to the puzzle. You're missing two more pieces that could be added here so that you can be able to enjoy your life just a little bit more. We also talk about purple tranquility, right? Um, who are you when you're just relaxed? Have you showed up just relaxed, not saying one word? Seeing how people will treat you? It, it, it's crazy because when you show up without saying one word and you just let others play or let the world play as it wants to play, uh, have you ever noticed the type of conversations that you can actually have with others without trying to control the situation? Not them, I'm saying the situation. What is it like to have a conversation with people without you trying to get something out of it? I'm not trying to call you an asshole or anything like that. I'm not calling you like controlling. I'm not calling you that. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying is, have you looked at the world through another lens? Allowing people to come and do for you. Allowing people to come and try to show you something, right? It's like letting the reins go out of your own life just to experience something else. You'd be surprised what other qualities will come out within you when you start living life that way. Mm. Yeah, you need to let both... Uh, it, it almost seems like the feminine energy needs to come out too. I know it's Black Moon Lilith, but nonetheless, it's still feminine energy. You guys need to let this feminine energy come out a little bit more. You'd be surprised. I feel like you guys feel like if you're passive, people won't notice you or acknowledge you. Or people will put you down. But no, that's not what I'm getting at all. Remember, quiet, being quiet is powerful too. Saying nothing is powerful too. Uh, try it for a few days and see how it goes. Play around. This is your time. This is the time to learn new skills, right? Because you're at a point where it's like, yes, you are this person, right? You are, you have your ego, but it's like, it's time to have a little more fun. It's time to be a little bit more free-flowing. Let that free-flowing energy come in and show you something. All right, guys, that's all I have for you, my beautiful Aquarius. Yeah, especially you guys. It's like, you get bored easily from doing the same thing consistently. Try something new. You won't regret it. All right, that's all I have for you guys. I love you. Bye.